Sam, talk us through your first full year as a first team player as such at the club, please. Yeah, so obviously it's it's gone by really fast. Um, it was a year full of a lot of positives for me personally, but obviously Tim came in at the start of the year with uh, John Daly. Um, I was probably a little bit over eager at the start to be playing, uh, sometimes forgetting about how young I really was. And Tim kept reminding me of how young I was, and he told me if I just keep training well, the chances will come. And thankfully they did. Uh, away I got dropped and we won the game 4-0 so it was brilliant and that's kind of what kick-started the year for me. Your debut was actually at the back end of last season, you were still 15 at the time, you're the club's youngest ever player. Lee Desmond went off with a, a bad knock on that night and you got on for a couple of minutes, not the ideal circumstances but you went from that debut to a big off-season and, and then you came in at the start of the pre-season here, really uh, I suppose hungry to try and get more first team minutes? Yeah 100% and to be fair I wasn't really expecting to be coming on at all, I was just kind of sitting there on the bench like enjoying the game and taking in the atmosphere because it was all so new to me because obviously I was only a young kid I obviously came from the Rovers Academy and made that step because I saw opportunities at Pats but when it happened to Lee I was kind of I wasn't expecting to come on I was kind of it was obviously unfortunate it just went by so fast like when I was only a few minutes but it was brilliant to make me debut so young and then obviously I was hungry for more minutes because I got a little taste of it then I was just hungry to play this year. Yeah, like being around the first team from the end of last season in terms of training and then you were in the cup final squad and did that help and how much did that help being around the first team from so young? Like you joined our academy a couple of years ago and you were you were quite soon in and around the first team group. Yeah, of course. Um, Sean O'Connor was the one who had approached me to come into Pats and when I sat down and within the first 10 minutes of speaking to him, I knew straight away that would be something I'd want to exploit. Um, he told me I'd be training for the first team. Uh, the opportunities would, would of course be down to me, um, you can't just come in and expect expect things, you have to do the right things, uh, carry yourself the right way, train well, um, but being in the first team it was a massive jump for me because I hadn't really had a taste of it, but as soon as I got in everybody was so welcoming with me, uh, the managers, staff, all the players, they all kind of took me under their wing and it did help me a lot and I think that is what uh, made me have, helped me have such a successful year this year. I suppose one of the highlights of your time at the club before you made your first team breakthrough as such was playing for the under-19s in the UEFA Youth League and the couple of games against Red Star away and at home here at Richmond Park. How was that experience? Oh, it was brilliant because it was packed out. We obviously played at home first. Uh, we got beat, which was unfortunate, but it was brilliant to have a taste of that. And then obviously we went away there and couldn't get the result right, but it was brilliant. And that's why... Uh, I'm delighted that we won the year, the league again this year and hopefully we can do the same next year. Yeah, we've seen the just how good a place the club is in at the moment and a good example of that was probably everything around the cup final last year, the results, the performance, the fans, the celebrations and stuff and that probably gave you a taste again. You know, yourself and a couple of the other academy boys would have been in the squad, got to travel with the team, get your, your cup final experience even though you didn't get on the pitch and stuff and that probably gave you a really good taste as well of, of what the club is all about. Oh, 100%. It was absolutely unbelievable. Obviously, we stayed in the hotel and all the night before. Um, me and Adam Murphy would have been the two young guns as such then and we were always just talking about with each other. We travelled with each other on the bus and we were just talking about how mad it is that we're actually going to the Aviva to be part of the team in the cup final. Obviously, we were in the dressing room and stuff. And just watching on was unbelievable. And when Chris scored that goal, the feeling I had of the club, the togetherness the club had was just brilliant. And it just pushed me on to want to play more. So let's roll through to this year and your first start against Drogheda. Um, talk us through when you kind of found out you were playing, how you were feeling riding to the match on the bus, the warm-up, and, and then when it kicked off. And I think that started a run of, of seven or eight starts in a row before you hurt your ankle up in Finn Harps. We had the pre-match in Keeley's first, so we went up for pre-match and the sitting down with the lads and eating my food and stuff before the game made it that bit easier for me. But I was feeling very nervous, to be honest. Um, but some of the older players like Ian Birmingham, Owen Doyle and stuff had reassured me that it was just going to be like any other game and that I should play my own game. Uh, it was packed. There were so much Pats fans there. I was amazed with the away support. As soon as I got my first touch of the ball, everything kind of settled down and then we just kept playing and then half time came, I was happy and I just wanted to go out there and keep doing what I was doing, so just went on from there really. It's a lot different, but in a sense that at the st it's coming up to the game that it does get me the most because coming out to warm up and stuff, you're looking around and you're seeing the stadiums starting to fill out and stuff. Uh, it felt like we were always playing with an extra man on the pitch with the fans, the home and away, they've been brilliant all year and it was really 
like amazing for me to see how well the support was even when we were losing games they were still always behind us so they always gave us that fighting chance playing 90 inch football there's never loads of people there as such but in some games there would be but there's not as much so when it fills it when the crowd fills out it's just unbelievable but to be fair when when you start playing you don't actually acknowledge it in a good way like as in if you're down the crowd will get will get you going to come back again but like I kind of it was okay for me though because I was still settled and I just kept wanted to keep playing my own game really and the connection between the supporters and the people that follow the club and, and the players has been really really special particularly this year um, after the home games you know the, the little kids looking for the selfies and the autographs yeah. and the kids with their mums and dads and the grandparents and you know little boys and girls and, and everyone that's come and um, that's been really nice for you guys even when you come to see the summer camps that, that they're, they're looking for your autograph they're looking for a selfie and, and they see you guys as, as heroes which is really cool yeah 100% and it's, a, it's crazy for me because I'm just sitting at home and I'm just thinking I'm just any other person but to these kids they're obviously they look up to players at this club and it's it's brilliant and I love to be able to I will always take the time to sign the kids autographs or take pictures with them and it's because it's brilliant for me as well as brilliant as it is for them like doing that makes my day as well as theirs it's brilliant and this the connection we have with the fans this year especially has been unbelievable like and there's always that togetherness with us and them even when we're playing and off the pitch as you said with the summer camps and stuff every time we come in um, it's it's a joy and there's smiles on everybody's faces so we're always really enjoying ourselves doing them type of things the younger people who are going to watch this interview or listen and, and see you at 16 and the appearances that you've made and you've won a couple of player of the month awards and you've played for your country underage and stuff but that doesn't just happen by accident it happens from hard work it happens from your talent and your dedication and the sacrifices that you make you might just talk us through kind of what goes into your life as a young footballer to make you be able to perform as well as you have no of course yeah like it's it's not easy it isn't i'd be lying to you if i said it was easy but it's doable and i believe anyone can do it you know that kind of way and um, all the staff at pats have always pushed me to drive standards my mom and my dad have always been on to me even my dad was so strict if you see me eating a little biscuit or something out of thing he'd be going mad now obviously it's okay to have a biscuit as such but he'd be always giving out to me and stuff at home for eating that and keeping on top make sure i drink loads of water after games as much as i could i tried to go for a swim to recover foam roll etc there's a lot of sacrifices to be made going to bed early before game days and stuff like that like always you'd, you'd like to stay up on the playstation it's just maybe but sometimes you have to make that sacrifice and just get yourself to bed early knowing you have a big important game tomorrow and even as such for the games this year when i was playing of course like you'd want to get to bed even that hour earlier because you know that the fans are going to be there and they're going to be expecting a win for the club as such the next day another person who's been a big part of your career is your brother ben who's also at the club and is also in the first team squad and, and plays for the 19s and having a brother who's also very good at football of a similar age i'm sure has been a great help to you yeah it's brilliant because not a lot of people do have it so even now that we're in the off season i can do a lot of training with him and it helps a lot and we drive standards from each other if one of us is never at it obviously i played with him with the 19s a number of times this season also and it's great to have him out there because obviously he's my older brother and i've always he's always been someone that i looked up to and he drives standards for me as well as i do from him so it's just it's so good to have and i'm so grateful for him also and as well like the the full-time training aspect how has that been for the last year and how much has being full-time do you feel helped your game oh 100 the full-time football is something that i've dreamed of doing like it's basically our life obviously i've only really taken it on as such this year as i came late in the, the year last year but this year from the start obviously full-time football has been brilliant for me and i think it's helped me in a lot of ways because it's a lot of extra training and stuff and obviously we'd be in the gym after a pitch session on the mondays and the wednesdays and that helps me a lot as well to perform on the pitch and um, it's it's brilliant really and it's more than i can ever ask for how much have the players and the staff helped you in terms of like your game understanding and the kind of professional side of the game? Yeah, well, obviously I had been playing for the under 19s and that jump to first team level is a massive leap, but it's a leap I knew I was capable of making. Um, what well, one of the players always said to me, Alan Doyle always said to me, there's something you can't buy in football and that's experience. So they were trying to implement little things into my game that helped me a lot on the pitch. All the players had helped me so much because obviously I was a young boy coming into the team and they all took me under their wing and helped me out a lot on and off the pitch. Okay.